Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn in Videos. In the previous video, we had seen how to plot asteroid and how to plot an uh, cardoid using a Python code. So in this video, we are going to see how to find the angle between the polar curves, curvature and radius of curvature of a given curve. So now the question is find the radius of curvature of this equation that is a log 1 divided by cos of x by a. So this is our equation. So now in the previous video we had imported a simpy. Okay, we had install we had seen how to install a simpy. If you guys are facing any issues regarding that, so you can comment me in the comment section. Uh, and uh, surely I'll help you on that. And if you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel okay, for the upcoming videos on the mathematics lab. Okay. So now uh, as discussed previous in the previous class, uh, we had like imported simpy. Okay, from simpy we are importing star. As I said earlier, also star means each and every module present in simpy will be imported in this project. Okay, so now we are defining a method called as symbols. We are calling a method called as symbols. So what does symbols do for us? Okay, symbols means so now with the help of symbols method we can declare some variables of mathematical expressions to be used as an palino uh, and polynomial by using simpy dot uh, symbols so if you want any mathematical expression to be uh, like to be used okay so then we are declaring that element as symbols okay so now we can see here x a y we are declaring it as an symbols okay so now in our code x and x a and y will be considered uh, like will be treated as symbols so now, so we are uh, creating a variable f. Okay, for that we are providing, for that we are providing an equation. What is that? Check it. It is a into log of one divided by cos x y. It's our question. Okay, this is our question. We need to find the radius of cur curvature of it. Okay. So next step is we are using diff method. So now what is this DIFF method? So DIFF method will be used in differentiation. Okay, will be used in differentiation. So now uh, like before that, let me show you something. Uh, let me, we shall do one exercise over here. Okay, I will comment this hash means comment. Okay, so now you can see over here, X comma Y comma A is equals to symbols of X, Y, A. Okay, so these are our, I am uh, defining it as symbol since I want it for mathematical expressions. Okay. So now F, the same code that we had seen in the like uh, our code. So it is A into log of 1 divided by cos of x by A. Right. So next, what I am doing it over here is I am just printing it. You can see here I will just print F. So let us see what we will get. Okay. So now you can see here the same expression that we had given, we are getting it as it is that is because we have used a x okay as a symbol okay we are using this as a symbol so now we'll go to our code so here you can see we are defining the uh, x f is equals to a into log of one divided by cos of x by a right so then what we are doing we are using differentiation so what do you mean by differentiation this is the normal differentiation so what we do so uh, in our code if you want to do any differentiation of any expression so we need to write diff that is that be, that means differentiation and we need to pass an expression so you can see over here i am passing f so what is f f is nothing but a star into log of log of 1 divided by cos of x by a that is our question comma i am differentiate uh, differentiating with respect to what i am differentiating with respect to x so we need to pass that also so we'll do we, uh, we will do a small uh, exercise over here. So what I'll do is, you can see, okay. So here I'm defi uh, defining x, y, a as a symbol in this line of code. Then what I'm doing, I'm creating an expression, exp variable. So what I'm doing it over here is x star star 2. That means x raised to 2. In the previous video, I had explained star star means x raised to it's raised to so x raised to 2 so now if we differentiate okay if we use differentiate method 
pass an expression that is x star star 2 that is x raised to 2 and we will differentiate with respect to x so the differentiation should be 2x right the differentiation should be 2x let us see whether we are getting 2x or not by running this yes you can see over here 2 into x that is 2x so this is the, our differentiation so diff we are using for differentiation okay let us go back to the code once again so now here what we are doing we are differentiating the code f that is our question with respect to x okay and we are storing and we are simplifying and storing it in f of x so now f of x contains my differentiation of the equation a log 1 divided by cos of x by a different once one time differentiation okay so in your terms it can be called as uh, sorry it can be called as y1 okay y1 i'll call it as y1 so next what i'm doing i'm differentiating this y1 that is f of x okay with respect to x once again i'm differentiating it two times okay and i'm storing it in fx fxx so let me call this as y2 y2 so now how to find this radius of curvature this is the standard equation what is that 1 plus y1 that is single differentiation raised to 2 that is square 1 plus y1 square okay the whole raised to 3 by 2 the whole divided by second derivative that is f, uh, y2 okay you should know this equation okay this is the uh, formula to find radius of curvature so now as we have find uh, uh, sorry as we have found fx okay so we will do raised to 2 that is square star star 2 and the whole raised to 3 by 2 so star star means raised to 3 by 2 the whole divided by the second derivative that is y2 that is fxx in our case so at the last we are going to print it the radius of curvature is r so r so this equation will be calculated and it will be stored in r so we are printing r okay so now let me go and run this so my uh, code name is third dot pi so i'll run third dot pi this one okay i'll run this the code is running and here is the result the radius of curvature is a star tan x by a star star that means raised to 2 plus 1 whole raised to 1.5 into cos of x by a star star 2 so this is our radius of curvature okay in the exams if you have said uh, if you have given a different equation you just need to change this part that's it so uh, work is done okay so i hope you have understood this video if you have any doubts regarding this video then you can comment below i'll try to answer it and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel thank you guys